Hello everyone, I am Monica Bhushan and today we are starting class 2 on Laplace transform. So if you remember that in last class we had seen Laplace transform of function t to the power n. We had seen Laplace transform of function 1 and then sin omega t and then cos omega t. Okay, because last class we had started Laplace transform. So, today we are going to discuss Laplace transform of exponential function, this e raised to a t. Okay, so what we are going to do in this case, when we have the function which is in time domain and the function is e to the power a t, where a is a constant, a can be your uh, positive, negative, uh, zero, even any number, okay? If we are going to take the Laplace transform of this function, what we know that after getting Laplace transformation, we get the function in S domain, which is nothing but my frequency domain. So, for the function e raised to a t, my Laplace transformation gives answer 1 by S minus a. Okay, we will be solving questions based on this frequency shift property. So, what is this frequency shift property? So, suppose you just think that one function is there that is in time domain. Okay, now this original function you are just multiplying with any exponential function. Okay, after that, after this multiplication, once you perform Laplace transform, then what you will get? We had seen this in last class, then we will be getting the function in frequency domain. Okay, but what happens when we are performing Laplace transform on this product, you will be getting function of S minus A. Okay, you are shifting this frequency, you are shifting this variable S with A. And from where this A has got, you have got this A with E raised to AT. This whatever your A is present here, by this value you are going to shift S. Because of that only we call this property as frequency shift property. Okay, now we will be solving that question. So let us start with the very first question which is Ft equals 3 into E raised to 2T plus 5 into E raised to minus 3T. Okay, so how we are going to start? Let us start solving this question. So, what we will be doing? We are performing Laplace transform of function t. We have two terms, correct? 3 into e raised to 2t and then 5 into e raised to minus 3t. Now, we are just taking out this constant for easy calculation and then we are writing down Laplace transform of this function. Laplace transform of e raised to 2t and then again we are writing down 5, taking 5 constant outside and then writing down Laplace of e raised to minus 3t. Okay. So, this term is actually straightforward, correct? After that, how we have got this answer? This is our answer. So, we, we had just now we had seen that Laplace transform of e raised to a t is nothing but numerator will be 1, denominator will be s minus a. And here in this case, what is my a? a is 2. So, what we are writing down, this 3 is as it is written down, 3 into 1 divided by s minus a. a is 2 here. So, we got 3 by s minus a in this uh, term. What about my second term? 5 into 1 by 1 by s minus a. And now, what is my a here? My a here is minus 3. So, s minus minus 3. So, we will be getting s plus 3. Okay. Now, we'll shift to the second question. So, second question is ft equals e raised to minus 2t, which is, which is common multiplication of these two terms, correct? 4 cos 5t plus 3 sin 5t. What we are going to do the same way, we are just writing down Laplace transform of this function t, which is in time domain. Now, we have just rearranged the given question in these two terms. We have just separated it out, correct? So, 4 taken out and then Laplace transform of e raised to minus 2t into cos 5t plus, again this 3 is here, then Laplace transform of e raised to minus 2t into sin 5t. 
okay after that we are going to use frequency shift property correct just now we have discussed this property so for that how we have to write what we have done 4 is written here okay now e raised to minus 2t and cos 5t what we have said that this function t is nothing but in this case it is cos 5t so there are two steps to solve this question so very first step is what you should do you first write down that laplace transform of this function t so function t for this case here my function t is what function t is cos 5t cos 5t so you perform first this is your first step perform laplace transform of cos 5t we had seen in last class it will be the denominator part will be s square plus omega square correct and what will be in my numerator whether it will be s or omega it will be your s so it will be s s by s square plus omega square and what is my omega here omega is whatever is there along with your t cos uh, 5t cos anything i mean it is what is along with your t this is your omega okay so so because of that only you are going to write s by s square plus 5 square your first step got completed why because you found what is your laplace transform of function t here your function t is cos 5t the second step is now you have to perform the shift this frequency shift property so this property is what now you are going to write down four is written here fine wherever you write wherever you find this is just shift this s with a okay and in this scenario what is your a a is minus 2 correct e raised to 80 a is minus 2 so what you are going to write here 4 and then s minus minus 2 in the numerator part and the denominator is again denominator is written as s square plus 5 square so when you have s first you shift with a so it will be s again minus a so minus of minus uh, 2 it will be s plus 2 then just square it out and then write down 5 square so this is how we got this step okay let me tell you that laplace transform of e raised to minus 2 and then multiply laplace transform of cos uh, this is your cos 5t answer so this is wrong okay you we don't have to perform like this this is not the correct way even you think that this is the way to solve this question so what you should do you have to think that e at end okay just just you memorize this uh, this line that e at end and what is e at end so when any function if you are getting any function which is your cos 5 t or anything it is multiplied with exponential function so you have to keep this exponential function aside just think that e at end whatever is there right that will be your function t first perform this laplace transform on this function t and once you have performed laplace transform of function t then you come back to the last step last step is just you have to shift this s with a because e at end okay now even in shifting of this part i i have seen students again committing mistake and what mistake is uh, the numerator part is okay s minus a they will be writing and then denominator part don't write s square and then uh, minus 2 right s square uh, minus of minus 2 so s square plus 2 plus 25 this is not s square plus 2 if you have s square so before that also before is squaring that is do the shifting part first write down that s why i am writing s plus 2 because s minus of minus 2 so s plus 2 whole square if it is square written so shifting will not be s square plus 2 it will be s plus 2 whole square and then 5 square or something so even if it is suppose s to the power 4 so it will be s plus 2 to the power 4 and then perform what they are doing okay okay again the second part is similarly i mean the second part also we don't have any other confusion right what we have to do here 3 into what we have done here this is 3 into why we have written down 15 on the numerator so we'll just discuss this why this 5 is here what is the denominator part so first what i am doing we are just we just keeping this e raised to 80 aside e at end and then we are performing laplace transform of function t which is sin omega t 
Denominator is exactly same of cos. It will be s square plus omega square. Omega is 5. So, s square plus 5 square. In the uh, sign uh, transformation, we have to write omega on the top. Correct? It won't be your s. Is, uh, it will be your omega by s square plus omega square and then because of so omega is 5 so it is 15 so 15 by s square plus omega square similarly it won't be your s square plus 2 correct no it will be first s minus of minus 2 it will be s plus 2 whole square plus 25 in your numerator s is not there so you don't have to worry about shifting of s in the numerator because if you have s then only s only has to get shifted Okay, now we will be seeing the third question. So the third question is you can see that one this function t is what? 1 plus e raised to 3t whole square. So how to solve this type of question? So better you, you have seen, notice that right? This is nothing but in the form of a plus b whole square. What is my a plus b whole square? It is a square plus b square plus 2ab. And in this case, what is my a? my a is 1 and then b is how much b is a raised to 3t so after performing this uh, a plus b whole square formula we are just writing down a square plus 2 into a into b plus b square okay uh, i think you know but still uh, it will be your brush up how this e raised to 3t whole square is e raised to e raised to 60 e raised to 3t whole square is you are writing down e raised to 3t into e raised to 3t two times if it was three it was three times correct now whenever the base is same okay your base is a whenever your base is same power gets added so whenever your base is same power gets added and so you got e raised to 60 okay so this part till here we have got it okay after that what we are doing we're just writing down laplace transformation laplace transform of function t is there are three terms correct so uh, similarly we are just writing down laplace transform of one plus laplace transform of two constant taken out then laplace of e raised to 3t plus laplace transform of e raised to 60 okay now laplace transform of one so if you if you remember in last class we had seen laplace transform of one is how much this is one by s and the reason which we have seen in last class of saying laplace transform of one is one by s it was remember that t raised to n correct no laplace transform of t raised to n is how much factorial n divided by s to the power n plus one in this case we are taking n as zero t to the power 0. So, this is your 0 factorial by s to the power 0 plus 1, 1. So, it is s only. t raised to 0, anything which has power 0 will become 1. So, Laplace transform of 1 is even factorial 0 is nothing but 1. Correct? Factorial 0, factorial 1 both has value 1. So, 1 by s. Even this class, if I will just explain with this formula that Laplace transform of e raised to a t is nothing but 1 by s minus a. Suppose I am just taking a as 0. So, in this case, what will be happening? e raised to 0 t is how much? 1 by s minus 0. And we know that Anything which has power 0 is what? It is 1, correct? So, Laplace transform of 1 is 1 by S. Okay, but you don't have to do these things. Laplace transform of 1 is nothing but 1 by S. Okay, now come to the second term. 2 into, again the same way, correct? No, 1 by S minus A. A is 3. Similarly, for your third term, 1 by S minus 6. So, we solve this third question also. Now, just see that fourth question. This fourth question actually uh, the same way, correct? This is your uh, first term, second term. You can take it as your homework. So, how we are going to write? We see that it is product of two terms. You can say, I mean, this is a function t and this is your exponential. So, exponential function, if it is multiplied with this one, then you can use frequency shift property. In your frequency shift property, what we always think that e at n. So, we will be saying that e at n. That means you first perform Laplace transform of t to the power 3. So, Laplace transform of t to the power 3 will be factorial n. That is factorial n will be what? Factorial 3 divided by s to the power 3 plus 1. So, it will be factorial 3 is how much? 3 into 2, it will be 6. 
6 by s to the power 4. So if I have 6 by s to the power 4, I have done with the first step. Second step is now come to this E at end. That means that we, we have to think of E. So E is having A value is 2. So what you have to think, what you have to do, just find out where is my S. My S is not present in numerator. It is present in denominator. So S, you first shift the S with A and then uh, put the power. Exactly correct. Now the same way uh, you have to do the second part also. E at end. So first you find out what is your Laplace transform of remaining thing. Remaining is your T. So Laplace transform of T was T to the power 1. So factorial 1 because in factorial by S to the power 1 plus 1. So 1 by S square. Okay. So this first term, first step is completed. Now you come to E part. So what I have to do? For E part, I just have to search where is my S. There is no S on the numerator. Yes, I have S in the denominator. So shift this S with A. What is my A here? A is minus 1. Correct? No, this is multiplied with minus 1. Uh, T is multiplied with minus 1. So 1, uh, it will be what? Uh, we are shifting it. Right? So it is uh, what I have to write? S minus of minus 1. So then it will be your S plus 1. And then you are going to write down square part. You are going to write down the square part. So 2 by S plus 1 whole square. Okay, fine. So if you find this class useful, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.